breaking through $11,000, a lot of people are asking themselves, is this upward movement sustainable? And the answer is yes. People are looking at Bitcoin as a multi-asset function. They're looking at it as a safe haven. They're looking at it as an inflation play. And they're trying to protect themselves from whatever central bank that they affiliate themselves with the devaluation of the underlying currency, like what we're seeing in the dollar index. The dollar. Now, I wouldn't be too worried um, I feel like that there is a possibility that Bitcoin will reconnect, uh, recorrect again. I know that people are very bearish on the dollar right now, and Bitcoin has been trading in that 10,000 to 12,000 range. I personally feel like there's going to be another dip where you can buy Bitcoin for under um, $10,000. And uh, I think that's where you should strike. Now, if you don't own any Bitcoin, go ahead. And I think you should definitely try to get in some of your money into this market. But I do feel like if you're, for example, looking to invest $100 into Bitcoin, I would set aside 50 um, to try to buy it when Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin will recorrect by the end of this year and go under $10,000. Now, if it doesn't happen, that's why I, you know I'm telling you to put your other 50. Um, and then also just stay diversified. Uh, um, I think that Bitcoin is going to be a great asset the next 10 years. I do believe in a $200,000 Bitcoin, but I just think that you should stay away from the other cryptos. Uh, I wouldn't buy anything that it is not in the top 10. So let's just go through this really quick. Um, yeah, Binance or EOS coin would probably be the lowest I would go and I would stick to just Bitcoin and uh, Ether, maybe XRP if you want to. Uh, and then I, I feel like you should be in the stock market. Um, I know that there's a lot of people that are very bullish on cryptos, but even when I started this channel, I would be 10% commodity. So gold, silver, whatever, maybe 10% crypto and then the rest in equity stock. Um, you can obviously change when market forces have changed, but <laughs> the only reason I'm creating new content right now is to obviously can, can encourage cryptocurrency investing, but you got to be diversified. You got to understand real estate. You got to understand the stock market. So um, I'm not pushing Robinhood accounts. I think I have on on there, but you should definitely consider Robinhood or Webull um, and uh, just stay diversified in this market. But for now, I'm way more bullish on stocks. And in the future, I'm going to try to show more content on my stock investing because I have a lot more money invested in the stock market and I've been doing much better in the stock market than I have with my uh, crypto investments, but I, I'm not selling my crypto investments and I'm still bullish on crypto long term. But let me know your thoughts uh, and I'll talk to you guys soon.